Hi, this is a tutorial to show you how you can select text and print just the selected text as opposed to printing all of this document or any document, pardon me. So if I went into the print dialog box for this document, you'll see that it says it's 82 pages long and 41 sheets of paper. That's because I have it set to print two-sided. So um, I don't want to print all of this document though. I would just like to to print some selected text. I'm going to print the definitions for this act. So if I click on the definitions and I use my mouse to select, you can also, um, you, you can also use the control shift keys as well um, and the arrow keys to select text. But I'm gonna use my mouse. It's set up to right click on the left side. So I'm just gonna grab the bottom. I find it's easier to go from the bottom to the top of getting the text. So I've got my text highlighted pardon me. I'm just going to go down to the bottom here again. Let's see here. Okay, so I've got my text highlighted and I'm going to um, right click and go back into that print dialog box and you'll see now it says that I have four pages and two sheets of paper and if you click on this more settings you'll see here that it says selection only now and that box is clicked on and it's going to print two-sided if I print. And I can also change it so that if I don't want to use the color ink on my printer, I can change it to black and white. I can also um, pick how many copies I would like by just merely pressing the plus or the minus key. And if I wanted to just print one, one page, let's say that I just wanted to print page two, then I would click in here and I would type page two and it would just print page two for me. I can also change the printer. So if I had two printers, I could click on here and it would change it to the printers. And then of course I would select print and my job would print my printing job. Okay, and I'm actually going to go into Word and show you how to print selected text within Word. So here we are in Word. I'm going to use the Control Shift key and the up arrow key and that will select the whole paragraph which is fantastic. It's a lot faster than using the mouse of course. So I um, now have my text selected, I'm going to use the control P and P keys to go to the print dialog box within Word. And you'll see here again, I could choose to print more than one copy. I could click on the down arrow key and it will give me all of my printer choices. And you'll see here it says print selection. If you go, um, if, if I go into the drop down the arrow here, you'll see that I can print all pages, print selection, print current, or print a custom range. Now, print, print a custom range, of course, is if I only wanted to print page two and three, or um, maybe I wanted to print uh, uh, other options, I could say two slash three, six slash 10, so that's what that is. And the print the current page, of course, would be the page that you're on. Now, if I didn't have any text selected in Word, print selection would be grayed out and it would not be a choice to pick. So I'll just click on that to print selection. Again, you can click on this down arrow and I could print um, on both sides and um, I could flip on the long edge or flip on the short edge. And um, what that means is that when the printing comes out, it would flip this edge, which is the long edge, or flip on the short edge. That's what that means when it flips it over to do that second page. The orientation, I could do it portrait or I could do print landscape. And then here you can pick your size of paper that you would prefer to use and then the margins and here you can click and you could do two pages per sheet, four pages per sheet, six pages per sheet. That's handy if you're doing a seminar of some kind and you'd like to have your pages, small views of it on a page, that's how you can do that. But I'm just gonna keep it at one page per sheet. And then I would just select print and my document would print. 
So I hope that helps someone. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate that a lot. So have a great day.